so I wanted to start a channel on YouTube and make a, a bunch of videos about psychology and I will try to make it simple so that it's accessible for everyone and just present basic psychology and the first thing I actually wanted to do is present something that I think is useful for most people and that's uh, IQ tests there are of course uh, probably hundreds and hundreds of paid IQ tests ah, probably several thousands actually in different languages and different countries and uh, you can always pay like a bit to take an IQ test because there are some really cheap ones that you can go out and take but usually that's not necessary for most people because an IQ is actually very simple to measure you can measure it in a vastly different array of uh, ways and it's pretty easy to measure it correctly and precisely and have reliable results that replicate from day to day so it's actually one of the easiest things to measure in psychology and also the best test we have in psychology actually so you don't ever need to pay for it but if you want a professional setting and if you want to know the exact IQ and know that people are not cheating and that you have the right conditions and you are focused and awake and you're not you don't have any noise in your room and stuff like that you do need to take it professionally and this is the best for free IQ test it's on Mensa Denmark Mensa DK testing IQ Testing IQ in Danish and Nyskab på hvad din intelligens er online for short test. So right here. This is how it looks like. So you click the button, you can also translate it here. You click the button and you go to the test. And this is why I really like this test. Uh, it's it's fun, it's simple, it's colorful, and it gives you a good result. Uh, and it also uses a really good uh, basis for making this test. I'll talk about this later. And it's developed like 20 years ago or something like that in Denmark. And as you can see, you have uh, here you have eight shapes and you need to input the last shape. So what shape goes there? And then you have to select the correct letter. Here it's C, right? We know that because that this one is pretty easy. Then it's go again, it becomes harder and harder. And I won't read more answers, but yeah, this first one is C. And this is what it's based on. Raven's Progressive Matrices made in uh, 1936. And it looks like this on Wikipedia, like this. It's a super popular test. And it's great because it doesn't use any language. So actually it doesn't matter if you are Japanese, Chinese, or you live in the USA or whatever, or in Canada. It, it can measure any kind of, of people, but you do of course need to know how to, for this one, for example, you do need to know how to use a computer and how to look at shapes. So you have never looked at paper before. If you don't have paper where you live, then you probably need to train that first, right? To, to, to be able to take this test fast enough to solve it in the required time. And also don't worry about the time. It's not really a huge issue here. You can, it's just so that you don't, you know, sit and calculate everything on a piece of paper. Yeah, this is it. Usually it has like 60 multiple choice questions. This one has uh, 39, but it's good any anyhow. The more questions you have, the more precisely the test is. So if you like have 300 questions on a test, then it's pretty exact, right? Because even if you missed a few questions or misclicked or anything like that you have so many questions that if you take the test now and then take it in two years you will get basically the same score if you have a lot of uh, questions but if you only have 10 questions then the score will vary a lot based on random stuff how you click and how how focused you are um, of course this is just one of the many kind of tests that are out there progressive matrices it's my favorite kind because it's so simple and so fair, I think. Like when you look at it, it just looks fair. I know that verbal tests are just as fair, just as unbiased. But with verbal tests, you do need to understand the language. And it's also super valid and re reliable. So 
when we compare IQ tests and look at what tests are the best, Raymond's progressive matrix is actually is like a top tier test. So it's among the very best of the best tests that measure what we wanted to measure. It measured general intelligence. Let's go to calculator score. Looks like this, right? So standard deviation of 15. That's something you need to remember because with standard deviations, um, they can differ a lot. And when I read historical about historical IQ tests or historical literature where IQ is used, I do need to look at the standard deviation because the scores can be really, really high and it can look really weird until you understand that the standard deviation they used back then or in another test is, is different. So maybe a, a higher score like 140 can be the same as 130 on this test. And this is why I don't take uh, uh, IQ results as seriously online if they don't give you their standard deviation of the test and mention what test they took. Because a lot of people, they go online, they just write a result, they just write a number, say, oh, I got 115. But of course, you cannot really know what, what score they ha ha had. On that on <laughs> compared to your score if you don't know what the standard deviation is on that test yeah that's um, basically it it's a really good free test and of course it's not like a professional test where you take a thousand and thousand of people and sit them in a room and let them take this test and other tests that you know are valid, you know are already reliable and stuff like that. And then try to estimate the score precisely so that the next people that will take the test will also be compared to this group. This is more like an, uh, a test developed that, are, that is super, super precise and, and super great but not professional so you cannot for example use it to get someone off the dead row in usa because it's not as that precise and we don't like we cannot guarantee that the numbers are exact but from what i've heard and people who took this test and took other tests that this result is actually pretty comparable and pretty like on the on the spot and if you just want to know your iq kind of exactly not not down to the last digit but kind of exactly then this is this is the way to go it's free it's cheap it's it's fun yeah i think that's all thanks